every human being in America has a forthrightedness. The only question whether or not it is a correctness. Correctness is based on laws. The laws of America apply to everyone. It doesn't matter if you're here lawfully or illegally, whether you're an American citizen or an international visitor. The bottom line is America has laws that impact every aspect of our living, every aspect of our livelihood, every aspect of our positions, every aspect of our industry, and every aspect of the full length of our career. In life, the bottom line of American parentage is to establish in your home the concept of the family business. The family business is what you're running in your home. And as a precursor to your future child's life, you are teaching how your children how to serve. A child's ability to serve their parents and their family and their siblings is completely based on what is age-appropriate knowledge and age-appropriate capabilities in terms of the hand-eye coordination and balance and other type of aspects of the mental and intellectual development of a child. The psycho-emotional development of a child is something else entirely. Kids that are clingy need to be clingy. Kids that are sort of travelers need to travel a little but need to know that they need to come back to the home base in the business of the family. Children that are wayward and unattended are often the problems in our community. I have often spoke about the 11 and 12 year old black child who is always riding a brand new bike in our community. If his father or mother is a producer or owner of a cycle shop, awesome. But if he's a kid who's been stealing bikes off the block, then we've got a problem. What I know about him is his immoralness. His immoralness is his sass to an elderly person, his sass across culturally to a white man, and his sass and attitude of, I'm going to run you over with my bicycle on a walking trail and practically hitting me when I'm walking. I find his behavior immoral, I find his parentage unbelievable, and openly I'm sitting there looking, where the fuck is your father? Now, I realize that's a bad question in some communities who do not teach their men not to shoot without aiming. You see, when we're aiming, we're aiming for the right kind of girl. And when we're aiming, we're looking for that right kind of thrill, not at all. We're aiming to make sure that our life does not get off track with the foolishness of boyhood and the inability to have self-control. You see, self-control is something that is taught by age two or three. Accommodating others is also taught by age two or three. The ability to understand these things in me comes about from years of babysitting between probably age 10 and 13. By 14, I was involved with a lot of athletics and sports, and there wasn't a lot of time to do a lot of sitting except for very affluent families who had special needs kids meaning they tried forever to have a child, couldn't have one, they adopted one, and lo and behold, a year and a half later, they got pregnant and had one. So that was a unique situation of a medical doctor whose wife and him were always loving and kind to me. There were other families that I didn't mind serving, but then there were other families that I finally just said no to. They didn't want to pay appropriately the wage of going from a dollar to two dollars. Back then, that was a pretty hefty film for some people. But I also realized that there were other people in other communities paying a lot higher. But I felt that at the time, it was right for me to have that extra cash for my community. Now, that doesn't mean a thing to most people. But openly, I've also been involved with people in my family, among the siblings set, when they were involved with me, who are masters in education. My own mother was supposed to be the romper room lady for anyone who's out of Chicago and of my age knows what that is. She was the first pick for that show. Unfortunately, we ended up with Mary instead because my father did not feel that the wage at that time was appropriate for letting my mom go out of the household. After all, when you got six kids, what are you supposed to do? Put them on the show? And we probably would have been there as a part of the listening audience. But the reality is that show went on to great acclaim for whatever reason that people were crazy about that woman who was so boring and droll named Mary. But that's just my opinion. Now, I'm sharing this information because I want parenting to become a forefront of communities. I want mamas and papas that are older and grandparents to start talking to their children about parenting. You can totally screw up your entire future life in your elderly years if you are a poor parent. It means you produce a selfish child who will not ever care for you when you're old and gray and want to be a little wild.